Hi guys, what we're going to do today is prepare an engine for service. Every time we get a train out and um, get a train ready for service, we have to do some checks on the engine to make sure it's safe and everything's working correctly. The engine behind me is in the shed which you can't see, but for the first thing we need to do is go in there and get it out. Okay, so we're in the shed now. Here we've got uh, Rayla Bayhurst, which is one of our big diesel locomotives. This is the one I'm going to prepare for service today. So the first thing I have to do before I even get it out of the shed is I need to walk around it and make sure there's nothing leaning against it nothing connected, none of these not to be moved boards on it, front or back, and as soon as I do that, I can then start it up. So I'm gonna have a quick look around now. Walk down this side, make sure there's nothing here. Have a check around the back. Nothing around the back. It's a bit tight for space in here. Have a look around this side. Nothing touching, nothing there, that's fine. So that means I can now start it up and get it out. Right, so I'm now in the cab, uh, I've just got in, I've got the keys in. Um, before I can drive it, I've also got to start up, but I need to make sure I've got enough air for the brakes to work. So I'm gonna start it up and I'm gonna build some air up so that red needle gets past the 90 mark and that means I've got air to um, move the train out and it means I've got air to stop using the brakes. So I'll do that now. It's a bit noisy, and if I get a bit of revs, We can see the needle slowly starts to come up. Right, so I've just got the engine out now. Um, the parking brakes on. Safety security is make sure the uh, engine is neutral. I'll take the key out because I've now got to get out and get all the sides off to like, make the engine visible and do all the checks. Right, so first thing I'll do is get all these sides off here. So we're here on the right hand side of the loco got the sides off as you can see. I need to check a few things in both these compartments. First of all, I need to check these air tanks. These are manually drained air tanks, so there's any water in the bottom will have to be released manually by pulling the chain at the bottom, which I'll do now. And you can see there's a bit of water and oil there coming out. The rest is just visual, so check the connections, check the battery connections, make sure there's nothing loose, no pipes leaking or anything else. And that's it for that bay. Moving on to the second bay, this is where the engine and the gearbox is. Kubota diesel engine there, 3.3 litre, 60 horsepower, I think. Uh, check the starter motor connections are not loose. Check the uh, alternator connections are also not loose. Check the fan belt is tight, no fraying, and there's a little bit of movement. If it's too loose, that's wrong. If it's too tight, it's too, that's wrong. And also the blades are all there on the fan itself. Now at the back of the loco, um, this is the dust filter in front of the radiator and, air and the transmission cooler. Got to take this filter off the screen by undoing the four little uh, cords at the ends. If this was really dirty, I'd flap it out like that, make sure it's all clean, have a look inside, nothing there then, that's fine, and then put it back. And that stops any dust and debris going onto the radiators or the cooler and blocking it up. Otherwise it won't work properly. Right, now we're on the left-hand side of the loco in the direction of travel. A bit more to check on this side. Got the other side of the engine. Check the throttle cable is all nice and tight and not, not loose. Um, I've got to check the engine oil, which is this little dipstick here. And I've got some blue rag to check it. So the way you do that is put it off, out even. Wipe it so it's clean. Put it back in the dipstick filler. And then put it out. And as you can see there, there's plenty of oil on that dipstick. It's between the top mark and the bottom mark, so that's fine. Okay, that's once that's done. <clears throat> Just other visual checks, that nothing else is amiss here. Everything's all right, no leaks, no damage. Move on to the front compartment. Another dipstick I've got to fill and check is over the back here. And this is the transmission oil, that's the gearbox oil. Again, 
pull it out, wipe it off, put it back in and check it and I can see there's plenty of oil on there. It's a light coloured oil so you can't really see it but there's oil all out the dipstick there, that's fine. Right, more visual checks, the cover is secure for the shaft for the engine. And then the last thing to check is the compressor which is here. This has its own oil dipstick. It's only a short one. Pull it out. Again, wipe it. Put it back in. And there's loads of oil dripping off there, you can see. So that's fine, that's plenty of oil in there. It's only had an oil change a couple of weeks ago, so there's plenty of uh, clean oil in it. And that's all the oils checked on the engine here. Okay, so we're on the top of Loco now. The next thing I need to check is in here. Is, this is the filler cap for the radiator. This is where the coolant is. So I've just got to undo it and hopefully get it undone and just check. There's plenty of water in there, as we can see. So that's all right. Put that back on. Should only do this when it's cold. Um, getting it out from the shed won't uh, make it very hot, so that's fine. If you do it hot, there's a lot of pressure, so we don't tend to do it um, in the middle of the day. Just do it at the start of the day and the cap's on secure. Okay, so we've done all the top side of the low now, so now we've got to go around and check the underneath. Um, these are the bogies with a wheel on each one, uh, checking that the uh, bearing is correctly greased. Uh, there's no damage in the springs here for the suspension. The slack adjuster for the chain is all tight and not loose, and again, no other visible damage, anything hanging off, anything broken. And I have to do these for all four bogies, so I've done this one, and I'll do the front one the same. And that's all right. Mainly just visual checks on here. Slack adjusters, uh, springs, and correctly greased uh, bearings. And that's what I now go around and do exactly the same on the other side. Right, so now we've done all the checks on the outside, top and bottom. Uh, I've got to put all the sides back on because I've got to start the engine next to the cab check. So I'm not going to have, for safety reasons, any side out removing parts. So I've got to put the sides back on and lock everything up. <laughs> Right, okay, last thing to do, sit in the cab, do all the cab checks. I've got the engine running, so I just need to check the operation of the throttle. Just make sure the throttle responds. That's all right. Check the brakes work by taking the brakes off, put them on, off, on. Turn the buzzer unit on, test that. Okay, test the horn, <coughs> test the cab light, that's okay, test the windscreen wiper, that's working, test the front headlight, front, and that's rear, and then the last thing I have to do is test the safety device, so I put it in gear, Take the brake off, parking brakes hold us so it won't go anywhere, brakes go on and the engine should cut out in a second. And that's the safety device tested. And that is the loco checks all done and ready for service.